So it is the match for third and fourth place. Real Madrid against Inter Milan is the final at six o'clock local time. Two and a half hours time for chances for either side in the opening quarter of oh. this match. Poor ball, ball from the goalkeeper though. It's Gobi! And Mohamed the Sixth Academy have gifted an opening goal to Paris Saint-Germain. Which Ishmael Zakaria Nakli played it straight to appearance in this tournament. He's left with a red face. There'll be much between these two sides, and it's a mistake that's opened up the scoring. Mind you, what a finish from Garby. He's on his toes when he receives his ball. He reads the situation and then just bends it into the side. The sixth to come away with Shafani. He's on. That's a lovely ball onside. Look at the hat. The hat racing through the centre. Here's Akboob. It's a good chase. Oh, You've got the run past oh. the keeper. What a goal! Brilliantly done by Akboob. Well, PSG were expecting the cross. Akboob had other things on his mind. Took a little hummy the sixth to back in the game. Level at 1 1. Great run by Akboob. Great ball over the top. Nice. At this stage, I think he's kidding me here, he's so tired, but he just takes it past the fullback there. Is that who? Trying to make room for the shot. Good save by Matan, the follow by Kumi! And the substitute with his first touch has put Mohamed the Sixth Academy in front for the first time. The goal that puts Mohamed the Sixth Academy in front. Look his reaction, look his reaction on the pitch as well, by the way. Abu receives his ball, he has to make up a lot of ground. He's on the front foot, he catches the full back, El Hanash out. And we love seeing these goals following in the rebound. Keeper can't do much about that, he just palms it to the side, but Leia Kubi coming in and a fine finish. And 2 1 now to Mohamed Sixth Academy. What a result this could be. 18 players, two injuries, so hence a bit threadbare on the bench. This ball in behind is killing PSG at the moment. Here we go. Like Kubi, he's, he's, he's got there this time, and this time it is 3 1. It's the same player like Kubi against his second of the match. And Paris Saint Germain had switched off. And they've scored a goal through this man here. They've had the chance through Akboob. The ball over the top is absolutely killing this PSG defence. And what about this for a goal? Nips in front of the goalkeeper, and that is a wonderful finish from Leia Kubi. And he's out of place, El Hanash. Odebert. It'll dink oh. up to the far post. Oh, yeah. it's a great goal. Tade with a simple header. And Paris Saint Germain will fall, probably feel justified. They should have had a free kick a moment or so ago, although. Well, Nakli could have well been sent off, of course, for handling outside the area, but they've got the goal back. That handball, the handball from the goalkeeper outside the box wasn't given, and that's a delightful cross, by the way. Real teasing chip there. All Tade has to do is keep his eye on the ball and head it into the back of the net. Well oh. played, Muntu. Still going, Muntu. And still going, goes down under El Hamami's challenge. It's not to be a second penalty. Americo's got it back again, though. Into the middle. Housley! <laughs> well, having missed the penalty, here. he gets his fifth goal of the tournament. Mohamed the sixth just trail 3-1. They've got themselves back to 3-3. Yeah, they've won the ball back clear. The danger. And they play the ultimate price there. They have possession of the ball. Mohamed Balau. Oh, otherwise, PSG are going to win the shootout. But you still favour the French at the moment, who've scored all four of their penalties so far. It's Balau against Maton. Oh, it's off the underside of the bar and away. And Paris Saint Germain take third place in the shootout. It hasn't crossed the line. So Balau misses his penalty kick. And Paris Saint Germain will take third. It's Mohamed the Sixth Academy that finish in fourth. There's a little bit of confusion. They're not sure whether the ball actually crossed the line or not. It did cross the line. It didn't cross the line, rather. So it is Paris Saint-Germain. It's tough luck on Mohamed the Sixth Academy, but they've been a real breath of fresh air to this tournament this year. Yeah.